What's up guys, Sinus Stalker here for a new video. And in this video right up here, brings me to the greater LA area. Right now I'm at Koreatown Plaza. You wonder why am I here? Why am I here? Well, let me tell you right now why I'm here. This is pretty much like the only like 80s, like early 90s style mall, I think in SoCal, or probably maybe all of the country, it could be all of the country, that pretty much was made in 1987 and pretty much looks the same from 87 internally in there. So I'm gonna check this out. Some nostalgia goodness. That's a little bit louder right by the road, but I'm gonna check this out. Should be a fun little walkthrough of an 80s, early 90s style mall. But it looks so 80s looking in there. Like, oh my God, so I, just look, I peeked my head in the windows. Like, it looks so cool like, going back in time. No real like 80s stores in there. I don't I don't believe like, nothing like that. So it's, like, it's a Korean uh, mall. So about people, a lot of Korean shops, clothing stores, mom and pop shops in there, I believe. But it's supposed to like change this place around. I think and I, I think they're gonna get it up. I think this summer. So I wanted to go here and document it up. So let's go check this out. Should be fun. Should be cool. Should be going back in time. So let's go back in time in a sense. At the Korea Town Plaza and uh, bring back the memories of mall goodness, 80s style, pretty much in there. And here we are at good old Korea Town Plaza. Be happy. Oh yes, and I will be happy when I go in here. And so super light, it's like going back in time. I saw some pictures of this place. I was like, you know what? I wasn't too far from this area. I was like about, I was up here for something. So about, about 20 miles away, it's like, I gotta go check this out. And that's what we're doing right up here. And here we go. Check out the tile with the pink and the green and like kind of light minty green up here. Looking, look, look at this. It looks like something out of another time because it definitely was. And look at this, look at the brass. When was the last time you seen some brass right up here? Look at these light fixtures. Check that out, look at that. 80s style looking brass. This is a big mall too, look, look at this thing. It is huge up in here. Look at that, like I think it's like what's one, two, three, like three or four store, like floor, I think four floors. And dude, check this out, look at this. They have like glass style, Elevators, oh, look at that, that looks awesome. Okay, this is, this is so cool. Yeah, check all this out. This is very cool. Definitely like going back in time in here. It's like, it would be neat if you seen like a, like a Sam Goody's up here, or like a B. Dalton Books, or anything like that would be really, really rad. But it's just like, there's different like mom and pop shops, like kind of like just different stores, like unknown kind of stores in a sense and there's like a, I think a food court here and stuff like that I'm going to go there a little bit later and check out get some food on but this is just so awesome check all this out dude look, look, like, look at this like right here that definitely looks like something from going back in time especially like up here look at this wow that's definitely like nostalgia with the lights and how that looks there's a great overview of it right up here. Dude, that's so awesome. So cool. I think this place closes up. The store's closed at 7, I believe. I think everything else, like there's like a food court and an H Mart here. I think those close at 9 or 10. I could be wrong. But, wow, this is cool. On the very top level, let's just go that way. It's like no one really here. It's pretty much like an abandoned, almost mall in the way, like 80s, 90s style. This is, this is wicked. Check this out. This is so cool looking. I love how this looks with the lights and everything. The roof right there. Definitely something from another time. Especially with these lights, the tile, the plant setup, all that stuff. I never, this is my first time in this mall. I want to like, so I'm sort of close by. So I want to check it out before they change it up and that kind of thing. Look at that. Let's get a nice close look at that brass right there. That is, that is, you know, they don't make it like that anymore. Check, check out these plants. And so this is pretty much like I heard it's never changed since 87. And these plants up here, they probably have the same plants. I don't know if they're real plants. I think they're real plants. Yeah, like I don't know what they are, but yeah, I think I think, I think real plants have probably been here for like forever because they don't do that stuff anymore like that at the mall this is so awesome but this is so cool and i definitely have to go in this elevator 
Where's it at? It's like, I think it's like down there. But there, it looks like something you would see in the middle of the movie Commando with that elevator with the glass door elevator, which is right there. Gotta go down that in a bit. Maybe now we'll see. Oh, this is so cool. Very neat looking. Just like regular shops. You can be beneath that, like a video store here. That'd be so rad. Let's look how this place looks. It looks amazing. So cool. Nice out, no, the windows going on. Wow. Definitely neat. This is like, brings back memories of mall goodness. It's a shame they're gonna, I, from what I heard that they're going to redo this whole thing inside eternally, which I wish they would not do that. This, is, this, this, this place deserves to be preserved. I love these plants. Yeah, dang, you never see that stuff. This reminds me of a kid, with the way this looks, like something back in time. Absolutely amazing. This would be great for a movie. They, they had to shoot some movies here. Like, like, how could they not? Like, this place looks perfect for that setting right there. Absolutely amazing looking. Because that elevator right there, how cool is that? So, so cool. Love that look. Check that out. You never see those anymore, that, that style with the lights. See how we zoom in on that with the bulbs right there? Look at that. That is so 87 when this was made. I think it was made in 87. And definitely has that look. I love it. All right, so now time for me to go in this elevator. I gotta go in that to go downstairs. Pretty much looked all around here. God, I love that. Look, that looks so amazing. And let's go down the elevator and uh, do it up like 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando style, like the movie Commando. Let's go inside here. This is so cool. I'll try to go to the food court, the bottom level, because I haven't been down there yet. I've only been at the top. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this. This is amazing. This is so cool. This is so 80s style here. I love it. Look at that. Oh my God. That's awesome. Wow. What a thing of beauty right here. Oh yes. I'll definitely ride that again. <laughs> so, so cool. But I think yeah, other shops are all closed up. I think the only thing open is the actual food court, which is okay because I do want to uh, grab something to snack on. And the food court looks absolutely 80s looking too. But I think it's up over there. Yeah, dude, check that out. Let me explore this way a little bit toward this end of the mall by the H Mart. And we'll make our way to the food court. Yeah, so cool. So I was just was up there a little bit ago. Very awesome. You can totally see like a, maybe like an old school, I don't know, Pizza Hut probably, or some sort of food place probably back in the day was probably right there. And so it has that look to it, you know? And look at this with the old uh, glass bricks right up there, the old glass brick right up here. Very neat. Let's see these with the glass bricks. There's like the garage where you can park in the garage right there. I have to remember to uh, get my uh, ticket validated, which I'll make sure to do that. Let's go walk up this way now toward the food court and maybe grab some food or whatnot. That, th that thing looks like so 80s, it's crazy. Dude, so stoked, it's like going back in time in here. <laughs> it's really trippy, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And look at this, yeah, the International Food Court. And check out that neon lighting in there. That is definitely something from another time this place is just like stuck in time. It's crazy. Some of those stuff shops. And you get some food court stuff open. Look at that though. That is amazing. And you go in here. Oh my God, look at the lights. Look at the ceiling. Brass ceilings and lights. And I think there's actually not much food court stuff open. I think, I think everything is pretty much closed up. I think the only thing is over there. So we all get something over there. We'll see. Look at this stuff, this is crazy. Look at the, look at the floors. And then you get the, the, the cool brass around like the neon signage. And you never see stuff like that. That's crazy awesome. Look, look, look at that dude, that's probably, that's been there for like over almost 40 years. Look at that, the brasses and that look of tile work right there. 
I'm sure like a different name or heck it could have been the same name I don't know because it was a Korean mall so these could have been like the same you know, lights from back when I don't know but maybe I'll get some food if they're open I don't know let's go find out because I do have to get my ticket validated so I hope I can just buy like a little snack or something like right over there I think it's so cool with that look really look at that look at the neon light signage right there that's amazing That makes a pop right there. So, so cool. Well, it's open, I think, might be this. I love how that looks. Let me get some of these right here. Some of these options going on. I can't figure what to get. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see what, see what to get. We'll see what to get. I like the king cutlet pork thing. It's like a big plate of food. It's like 14 bucks. It looked good though. And I was kind of hungry. I didn't really eat much today, so that's gonna fill me up. I'm glad to get my ticket validated too. So I'm kind of just waiting for my food. And it's basically this close up at seven, but you can still eat in here and chill it up here at the food court. Oh, I'm stoked. This is so easy. Awesome. Definitely a neat place with all the look of it. Oh, I'm so so stoked. I'm glad that place was open. <laughs> so yes, yeah, definitely can't wait. The food actually looks really good. The background, dude. I definitely have to do like an 80s like or early 90s photo shoot here before they close down, dress up in like a members only jacket or something or some like fluorescent colors, that'd be rad. But I'm seeing this food court, it reminds me of something like, it'd be cool if they had an orange Julius right there, hot dog and a stick or like, like a pizza hut, like whatever was around back in the 80s mall type foods. Definitely has that vibe like it would have that here. You don't have that that here. It's all like different like kinds of Korean foods, but very cool, smells amazing here. Here we go. Awesome, thank you. That, that looks amazing, that looks so good. Oh my God. Look at all that food for like, it's like 14 bucks or 16 bucks. It's like something like that. I think it was like $14 and change. But look at all that food. We get some chicken, pork. I'm not sure what this is. We get some like macaroni sauce, some jalapenos, some hot sauce, some rice. Dude, I'm gonna be so full. I cannot wait to try this out. It's gonna be so good. Make Andy actually have roll silverware. Oh my God, that, that is, that is awesome. I'm gonna try out, I believe this is the uh, chicken first. Let's try it with the, uh, with the sauce. With this saucer. This is so cool, 80 style. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Fresh. That's so good. So now we just go try the pork out. Get dip it in that sauce right up here. Let's try this out. Mmm. Mm. That's so good. So good, so it's amazing. Wow. Really good. So finish this up, back, back to the mall. I ate most of the food. That oh my god, that's that's enough food for two people. So if you come here, just get that, you can share it, you're good. I was so just I kind of sort of mind like a like a um L, &L Hawaiian barbecue, but not because I have like macaroni and stuff, like the rice and like the, the and like the fried cutlets. I kind of vibe to it, but it was made Korean style. So, so good. And as a quick note, when you get your ticket stamp, your validation, dude, check this out. It's actually an old school stamp. Like, look at that. When do you ever see that? Like, never. That's rad. Your nostalgia overload. Let's go to the bathroom real quick, wash my hands. Maybe the bathroom's 80s, the 90s looking. Let's go see. Let's go see. But yeah, that food was so delicious. I'm so full. Absolutely amazing. So, so good. We have the, uh, yeah, the nice old school bathroom. Whoa, what's up? We're leaving the international food court now. So delicious. Like I said, I'm stuffed. Peruse and walk around here as I go to my car. But it's just a very cool nostalgia throwback. We're going here. Definitely love it. Definitely a cool spot. If you're in town, LA, check this place out before they change it up. You know what I mean? Check this out. Absolutely amazing. Just left the elevator. That was so cool going that thing again. Had to do it, you know what I mean? But now on the second level, I think it's where my car is at over this way but yeah just such a fun place nostalgia overload it's all closed up right now everyone like all the stores are closed around seven or eight most thing open right now is i think h mart till nine or ten but this is so neat i like that because you can just walk around here and like just real quiet kind of reminisce chill walk around and just kind of walk on these halls and check out this place it's absolutely absolutely beautiful here i hope they don't change it up this place is perfect how it is Maybe it'd be amazing if they had like a video store here, or a KB Toys, or something like those lines, like a Radio Shack. That'd be absolutely that's amazing. But yeah, super, super cool. Making my way out to the parking garage as I bid farewell to this amazing 
lost in time structure that is the Korean town plaza. So I think it's right over here. There's a bit of a well here. And hopefully this place does not get torn down. Hopefully it's, it'll be fine and inside. This place is so cool. Yeah, here we go, right up through here. And as I leave, even like this kind of stuff right here, says ABC Plaza, like this kind of thing is definitely super like 80s looking, like they'll put like little display things in here and that kind of deal. It's so, so cool. One more look. How do you do one more look? Hey, look at this. This place is amazing. Here is the parking structure, pretty much a typical parking structure, but yeah, free parking with validation. So where can you find that up in LA sometimes, right? That is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, time to go, but I love this, all that old number two with the checkers on it. So that pretty much does it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nice little wall walk through, especially this 80s, early 90s style mall, pretty much mostly 80s looking, like something, some nostalgia good. It's probably the only one in America could be like this, so I don't know. At least in my area of San Diego and in LA is the only one I've seen that looks like this. So at least in this region of SoCal, this is the most 80s nostalgia, 90s looking mall. I think it's still around and still working. Hopefully it'll be that way for a while. If not, I'm glad I was here to experience this and document it here on video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, of course. Make sure to hit me up on TikTok, Instagram. I got my eBay store down there too if you wanna buy some stuff, support the channel. All that kind of goodness right there. And time for me to leave this wonderful place that's stuck in time since 87. This is so cool. They're definitely fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said before, if you did, guys did give it a thumbs up. And catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye.